cute little board that is now looks like it's upside down to you. Let me flip it. Learned the flipping mode today. Now, it's right side up because this is where her head's going to be. And um, so on and so forth. I had it sitting where it would be level, but that's okay. So I know it's kind of sideways, but this thing is um, uh, almost 20 inches long and it would not, it won't go this way. You wouldn't be able to see it all. So we're just going to have to bear with me and we're going to do it sideways. Yay, Rima! Go girl, sell that art. So, what we're going to do today is make an angel. I have created myself some cute little wings out of a vase. Okay, let me show you what I did. So, I have a vase. This is my box that my vase pieces are in. I know you can't see it, but this was the bottom of the vase, and this is actually what I cut myself on. <laughs> so, this is an old vase, and it has all of the little pieces in it that when I, where I broke it. So I kept them, some of them large, so that I could sh cut a shape as I need to, needed to. So here's what I did. I took a large piece of the vase, I'm looking for my pen. I took a large piece of the vase and what I did I don't have the paint I used on board. Use, are you talking about the white? You don't have to use this, uh, Elizabeth. You can use modeling paste or you can just uh, add um, white paint to the modeling paste or just use white paint. It doesn't have to be the master's touch. Use what you have, okay? So here's what I did. I just took a piece of the glass and I just shaped out my angel wing how I wanted it to be. Okay, on this side, and then I used, or just add a smidge of modeling paste to it. Yeah, I cut myself every day, Judy. So then I just used, I'm going to do this one really quick. I used my um, scoring tools. Thank you, Donna. And I really want to just minimize how much glass I have. So I'm not gonna try to cut on this line because it's likely because it's curved that it will break wrong. So I'm just gonna take off a chunk of this glass. Hang on, gotta do it right. And make sure you're working on the inside curve, okay? On the inside curve. You don't wanna try to score on the outside. Stick to the inside. So then I'm gonna whack off that piece I just scored to make my angel wing a little more, a little easier to deal with. So now, see my wing? Now I'm just going to use my wheeled nippers and I am gonna bite off little, I'm gonna get in a little bit. Can you see where it's traced on to my um, piece of glass? So I'm just gonna use my nippers and just bite off little pieces. I don't wanna get this all over my art, so let me do it here. I'm gonna do this. You can probably see it better now. So I'm just gonna use my nippers, tiny little bites. You don't wanna make a big bite, okay? Because then it's probably not going to break uh, in the proper place. Um, so I'm taking little bitty bites until I get right up there close to my wing. And then I'm just gonna nip all the way around. See what I'm doing? So you're gonna nip all the way around to get your wing shape using your wheeled nippers. The key is little baby bites. Teeny, teeny baby bites. Don't try to go all the way up and think you're gonna make a big bite, okay? Little baby bites. Barely move your nippers up and just nip along your line. If you go way up here, see that was a little big, that would, would likely have messed up my entire piece. Yes, wear protective gloves and glasses. Don't, do, don't be me, I do have glasses on, but wear your protective gloves too so you don't cut yourself like I did. So you're gonna nip, 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 tiny little bits all the way around 
until you end up with two wings. So I have my two cute little wings. Does anybody know what this is? I'm waiting. I'm gonna wait. See what you say. This is a flat floral bead. There's in the in a uh, Hobby Lobby in the floral department. Yes, it's a glass gem. It's one of the bigger ones. They come in two sizes. This is the larger one, and they come in a little bag. Yes, exactly what it is. They come in a little bag of a bunch of them, you know, probably 30 or 40 of them in a bag. This is the bigger version. I'll show you the small one. The small ones look like Okay, here's a white one. So they come in like a bag that looks like this. Okay, just a little net bag. And this is the baby one. And this is the big one. Okay, AKA crab body is exactly what that is. So I'm gonna use the great big one for my angel's cute little head. Okay, so we're gonna use that for her head. And what I've done, has gone through my gold glass that we used on our angel wings in our challenge, and I found kind of a rectangular piece to kind of just dug through until I found a sliver of something that I thought would work for the halo. So there's our start. Hello, Dottie. How are you today? Oh, honey, there's no. I never ever in my life have or will ever think you are stupid, sweetheart. Ever, ever, ever. That's not how I roll. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. I am going to use, I really kind of uh, spent the last 30 minutes or so trying to figure out what color I wanted her body to be. But I think because this is that uh, silvery, what do you call that? That patinaed glass. What is wrong with my brain today? <laughs> Menopause Paul's brain is a real thing. Oh my God, what is it called? But it's like, somebody, help a sister out. It's like the patina mirror kind of stuff. Uh, mercury glass. <laughs> I'm glad I got it. So this is, was a mercury glass vase. You can kind of see the mirrored effect to it. It also has some little uh, um, embossing in it as well. Thank you. Um, so I decided I'm going to stick with the mercury glass look, and I'm going to use platinum reflective for our angel body. And I'm going to make it really nice and thick. Uh, I had a couple today, but they are getting better. 100% better. And I haven't had one since we've been online, and that's saying something right there. <laughs> I haven't had one yet. Let's see if I can make it through the whole live without having one. Hey, Cheryl. Okay, so I'm going to kind of set my wings where I think I want them to be and her cute little head. And I'm going to grab my glue. My, I've been working all day today, so my studio's kind of messy. But I am going to grab my glue because I want to glue her head down. I'm going to put a little bit of glue on the back side of this bead, on the flat side, just to keep it in place while we play around. So her head is going to be about right there in the center. And then this is her cute little halo. So we're going to just put that right above her head. I'm going to tilt it a little because she's got a halo, but it's a little crooked like mine. And now I kind of have figured out where I want her body. And I'm going to make her long and luscious almost all the way to the bottom. So I'm going to tilt her wings out just a little. And then I'm going to use, I actually am going to use my glue. Hey, 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 Carol. It's okay to be late. I'm going to use my glue to just to kind of find where I want her to be. So we ob obviously we needed to come all the way to the wings and then we're gonna just come all the way down. 
We want her to be a little bit organic. We're not gonna put a lot of pressure on her for being straight. Just kind of give myself a guideline. So now this is gonna be the quickest live ever, maybe. <laughs> now I'm just gonna take my platinum glass. Love this glass. So we did a gold angel in our challenge. Now this one is platinum. And I'm just gonna give her, thank you for sprinkling. I'm gonna give her a little love. I'm gonna take these wings off for one second just so I can get my hand there. Some little bits under her neck. And we are gonna give her a little body. I hope she's beautiful as she is in my head. <laughs> in my head, she's fantastical. Doesn't always mean anything. Yes, I draw with glue all the time. Y'all know that. The good thing about it is if you mess up, it doesn't matter because it just dries clear and nobody is the wiser. Thank you, Colleen. So we are gonna give her, I'm gonna start just sprinkling now. And I am applying this glass fairly thick, guys. I'm not being, Woo, that was a lot of powdery stuff. I'm not being, uh, chinchy with it at all. I've got a nice thick layer of glass. I want it to really have some substance to it. And I'm not going to try to make a perfectly straight line down here. I'm actually going to kind of hit it with my fingers and just make it really organic. Add a few more little pieces here and there. I really want it to have some bulk. Doesn't have to, but that's just me. That's just how I like it. I've never just put one layer. Are you talking about taking glass and doing it like this? One piece at a time? No way, Jose. I never do that. That is... <laughs> That is not my thing. I like it to be thick and bulky and full. Uh, some people like uh, to do just the single layer, but myself personally, uh, you know, I always say you do you, I'm going to do me. This is the way I like it. It's really, really thick. And once we get it poured, I'll show you how thick it is because it is fairly thick. I don't know if you can even see how much bulk is in there. So now let's see if we can work, work our wings back in. So I'm gonna put her wing in, scoot it. Make sure your wing, if you're doing this, is um, not hanging over the edge of your board. And make sure that they're level. I loved your gold wings on your angel. So yeah, you do you. You do it the way you want to. 100% all about it. There's no wrong. There's no, absolutely no wrong way to do it. There is just your way. All right. I stinking love this. And guys, look, that's the quickest piece of art you've ever seen. Because you know what? We're ready to resin. Can you see it? Can you see how gorgeous it is? Let me see if I can hold it up a little. There's her head with her cute little halo, her vase wings, and a ton. That's probably a full pound of glass all the way almost to the very bottom. I like it thick and bulky. And so we're ready, guys. Told you this was going to be fast. We're ready to resin, so I'm going to put my gloves on. Let's see how this turns out. Yeah, I, you know, when I do the umbrella girl, sometimes I have made her umbrella a single layer. Um, but yeah, I think it's just personal preference. It does save on glass, I can tell you that. <laughs> So if you're trying to save on glass, that's definitely a way to do it. But I am a thick girl. 
uh, literally and in my glass preferences. <laughs> that was kind of funny. I'm a thick girl. Okay, so I'm only going to, I'm actually going to mix two ounces of resin. I do have something else I need to resin. Uh, this board, Catherine, let me get my measuring tape so I can tell you accurately. It is... A little over, it's about five and a quarter inches wide, and it is 18 inches long. So five by 18. So from, you know, we got 14 inches of glass. So pretty. I have something else to resin, so I'm gonna go ahead. It may take all two ounces to do this because I have so much glass. Because the, um, okay, I'm having a hot flash now. <laughs> the more glass you have, the more resin you need. So, I'm gonna pour some resin. As per usual, you guys know what I'm using. Art resin, if you're new here. Art Resin is a two-part epoxy. It's made specifically for art. It's a 50-50 mix. And 50% resin, 50% hardener, and a three-minute mix time. So I'm gonna put an ounce of resin. Perfect. And if you're a, 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 a newbie, you want to mix in two cups, not in one, like I am. So do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> so you would put part A in one cup, part B in the second cup, and then you would mix them together. That way you can uh, make sure that your um, pour is accurate. It is going to be gorgeous. I can't wait to see once we uh, get the resin on. So I'm gonna do my second part. Remember that it grows, so give it some growing time. I think that's good. Okay, I don't know if I've said this already. I think I started to and got sidetracked, but last night I dreamed. Remember, yes, last night we resined our Mary wreath and we resined our evergreen uh, ornament and I dreamed that I didn't mix it right and I came back in and everything was sticky. Now I've never dreamed something like that before in my life. So I was like so paranoid once I got here. I couldn't wait to get in and um, check and make sure that if the mixture was right, it was all fine. Everything worked out, but I totally dreamed that I mixed it wrong. And can you tell I'm having a hot flash? My face is so red and that all my stuff was sticky. So I'm gonna stir, and while I stir for three minutes, who's timing me? Just somebody let me know when the three's up. Uh, so remember when you're stirring to stir slowly. You're not gonna stir really, 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 really fast because you, the faster you stir, the more bubbles that will uh, get incorporated into your resin. And so you wanna minimize that. So you're gonna scrape the sides, Scrape the bottom and stir very slowly for three minutes. Yeah, maybe. Okay, so here's our beautiful angel. So I've got my resin and I am just gonna start adding resin to my glass. I'm gonna start with her body. This may take every bit of the uh, two ounces I've made. I may be sorry I was being so chinchy. Let's see. So I am just gonna drizzle over the top. Uh, Linda, probably Saturday, Sunday at the latest. I am, uh, you know, kind of putting them together at, at, e at the end of each night, adding the colors and the tracers in. But uh, tomorrow, after our live tomorrow, I have some uh, plans with some friends. And I'm trying to take my Saturdays off because I'm still packing, I still have to pack, blah, 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 all that stuff. But I promise before the weekend is out, you will have the uh, all the information, the PDF tracer, 
and the colors we used all week with the pictures involved too. So yeah, it'll probably be Saturday. I'll try to do it uh, Saturday so you guys don't have to wait. I'll do my very best. I'll give it my very best efforts. <laughs> Thank you, Doris. So I'm just drizzling the resin over my glass. And the reason I drizzle is because if I just flood it, it's not going to get the top layers of glass. So I have to drizzle it over the top layers so that it levels through or kind of drips through all the glass underneath. And then it adheres it to the board. So you're going to want to work that way. Yeah, I am going to be pushing the limit on my resin. Good idea, Robin. Hopefully they're gonna get that worked out where we can notify people. I mean, it just seems like, you know, the Facebook people are doing everything in their power. It's like uh, to make sure we can't do business. And I don't know what the deal with that is. They want us to do business, but then they wanna make it hard. Yeah, there you go, Diana. Joan, on Saturday, I'm going to be get, putting out all of the PD, the, um, I have a, I'm putting together a PDF that has the tracers and all the colors and the pictures of all the things we did this week in our five days of Christmas. That's what's happening on Saturday. I'm going to have to make more resin, guys. <laughs> That's how much glass I used. Remember how on the ornament, which is on the same size board, I didn't hardly use any uh, glass because I used that red seed bead stuff, and I used like a half an ounce of glass. I've mixed two ounces for this, and it's not going to do it. I am going to get down to the bottom, but I'm not haven't even covered the top glass yet. So yeah, watch for that on Saturday. I'll get, do my very best to get that to you because I know it's the weekend. You might want to go get the things you need. All right, now I'm ticked off at myself. Let me put some resin here. I'm gonna have to mix more. Lord have mercy. This, this may be the second time this ever happened to me on a live. And I've done my share of lives. So I'm going to go ahead real quick. See, that's what I get for saying it was going to be a fast live. I'm going to go ahead real quick and make some more resin. Because I'm crazy. I'm going to just make two more ounces. Because I do have a fish to do. Part A. Ugh. So annoying. Okay, this is part B. I'm just gonna mix it right up to this two ounce line. So I got ounce of part A and an ounce of part B. I'm gonna go really slow so I don't overfill. Let it grow. Now we got another three minutes to answer questions. All right, somebody time me. Three minutes, we're gonna do this fast. Yes, thank you, Bonnie, that is so nice. This is my jam, doing this for you guys and showing you how easy it is, is my jam. Oh, no, Joan, me either. I have to admit, I didn't. But I have a boatload of uh, canvas anyway. If I could have ordered online, I probably would have ordered more. Okay, Jennifer, it's part A and part B. Uh, so it's one ounce of part A, which is resin, and one ounce of part B, which is hardener. So each one, I'll show you real quick. 
This is a tiny kit. So each one, it, this is the uh, resin and this is the hardener. So I put one ounce of this and one ounce of that in my cup. And then we have to mix it for three minutes. You wanna mix slow and scrape the sides so you don't have all that cake batter just sticking to your sides. Yeah, I missed out on the sale too. If I could have ordered, I would have, but I wasn't going to Michael's. I have too I had too much to do today. Joan, when I order, when they have a huge sale, I always get um, the smalls. I usually, if I have to go into the store, I will buy every canvas they have, 12 by 12 and under. Unless, of course, they have 100. I'm not buying 100. But I buy the 12 by 12s, the 8 by 10s, the 6 by 6s, the 8 by 8s, the um, 6 by 6s, the 5 by 7s. Those are the ones when they are on sale at 70% off. I just buy them by the ton because that's what people buy the most. You know, you're going to sell your smalls all day long. The bigger ones are harder to sell. So, you know, and I have a whole bunch of really, really big ones. And for the big ones, sometimes I just like to make, uh, build my own hardboard canvas. So, in the seahorse fun, I love him too. I'll show it to you again, close up and personal. So, you can look him in a seahorse eye. <laughs> Yeah, the seahorse is my favorite. This uh, That's the very first piece of um, absolutely not, uh, Sandy. If they were mixed together, they would be ruined. But if, if you just left it off, it should be fine. Nothing happened. Thank you, Rima. So yeah, what I was gonna say is the seahorse is the very first thing I ever made. I made myself a 24 by 48 inch seahorse. I use more quarter inch glass, Susan. I do have some half inch and I do like it for larger canvases and larger pieces, but I almost, I almost always use the quarter inch for anything small. Remember the hydrangeas? Did you ever see the hydrangea video? I used half inch for all of those. Those were fun. Time is up. Okay, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna look at this glass cause I was kinda starting to get paranoid and make sure I've got everything covered on that part. It looks good to me. I'm gonna come down here in a minute and fill that uh, space in, but I want to make sure I get my wings covered nicely. So I am going to first take my little stick and I am going to drizzle a little bit of resin all the way around that cut edge where I nipped. So I'm going to make sure I hit that outer edge really well, just in case it cut. Uh, we don't want it to cut somebody. Uh, you're, if you're dripping, you're probably using too much resin, Elizabeth. Try to dial back on your resin use a little bit. Uh, I'm going to pick this up. It's, it's got a little bit of a curve to it, and I want to make sure I get some resin underneath that wing. It'll help it be stable. So I'm going to put some resin under there. So most of the time when you have drips, it's because you're using too much resin. That is 90% of the reason. So if you try to use just a little bit less resin and see how that works. And it, are you taping off um, the underside of your canvas so that you don't have to deal with that issue? Make sure you do that. Tape off the back side so that if you do have drips, it sticks to the tape and not the uh, canvas itself. So I'm going to just smear that on like peanut butter. I'm 
I'm gonna make sure I have a little bit of resin drizzled all the way around my edge. Soften that cut glass. Let's get that little angel head. Always, Susie, they'll be on my Facebook page as long as I have a Facebook page. I never remove them. So if you want to come back in six months and do a search for five days of Christmas, you'll see all of those videos. I never take them off. So you'll be able to look at them whenever you want. Somebody was commenting on a post today. Um, somebody uh, made a comment on a post today that was four years old. I was like, what are they talking about? Because I got a notification and it was somebody asking a question. And I was like, what in the world are they talking about? I don't even know. And it was totally a four-year-old video that they were asking a question about. So I was like, oh my goodness. I don't know how they came across that. So I'm gonna come down here and make sure I get the resin all the way down to the bottom because the resin does alter the color of the wood, it does make it darker like it when if, if it was wet. Now I see a hair. Now I'm just gonna use my hands and just pull that resin and make sure it's covered everywhere. And now, Linda, I cut them out of a vase. You'll probably just have to go back and watch because I, used, I had an old mercury glass vase that was cracked. And so I just kind of broke it into sizable pieces. And then I, um, you, I sketched a, uh, the shape of the wing that I wanted on the back side. And then I used my wheeled nippers to um, nip away, but it's um, uh, it, it's kind of a um, particular way you need to do it. You use the nippers to make small bites, so probably if you're looking at doing this, you will want to come back and watch, you know, the replay so that you can see how I nipped it. All right, it's all covered now. So now we get to resin. Hey, Tammy. Ugh. All right, gloves off. Let's do the torchy parts. Every day I say I'm gonna go and get a small kitchen torch so I don't intimidate you with this monster, but uh, I always forget because it just hasn't been uh, a time of my life when I remember things. So I am using a propane torch. You can get a much smaller version of this if this is intimidating to you. And you can also just use one of those little small kitchen torches like the um, creme brulee kind of torch that people use in their kitchen. It's about six inches long. You can use a heat gun and worse come to worse, you can use a blow dryer on low air. You don't want it blowing high and blowing your glass everywhere. Low air, high heat, and keep your distance so you don't blow everything away. So this is a propane torch, so I'm gonna light this sucker up, and I'm gonna do the same thing I always do. I'm gonna tell you that it's the heat from the torch that pops the bubbles. That's why we're doing this, because stirring the resin, mixing and stirring the resin, creates tiny bubbles in your resin. So we wanna pop those. So uh, it's the heat that pops the bubbles, which is why you can use a blow dryer, not the fire. So keep the flame off of your canvas at all times. And do you see how my hand is moving constantly? I'm not stopping and honing in on one area. I'm just moving my hand up and down, up and down, up and down. You wanna to remember to do that too because if you stop and hone in on one area, you're gonna burn your resin, and then you're gonna have a big yellow spot, and then you're gonna be mad at yourself. Once you turn it off, don't touch that unless you wanna get burned. That's hot. Very, very hot. So guys, voila, check it out. 
I wonder if I can pick it up and flip it where you can see. Let me see if I can do this. Hang on. I'm going to raise it up just a little, and I'm going to pick it up and see. <gasps> can you see it? Uh, I'll do, I think I'll do it this way because you'll be able to see it better. Hang on. There she is. There's her in all her glory. I love her. She is so pretty, and it was so simple to make. So, so simple. I actually wondered if I was going to like the... Uh, difference where the board where the board is showing more and then the white I was wondering if I was going to like that and I honestly really do she is really pretty it I can tell you right now I'm looking at my iPad down below and it does not look near as pretty on that screen as it does in person so I'm gonna make it